the mix of culture that definitely sends tons of crazy messages about our identity as women, what's the best way would, would you say for all the girls out there for us to fulfill the, be yeah. the role God gave us as women the best yeah. way we can? Right. Um, in regards to beauty? Just in general, what's the best way for yeah. young girls out there to fulfill the role God's given us sure. as young women? Sure. I mean, my answer to that question would have to be um, the, the question, do you believe in God? And if the answer is yes, then who is God? And then you answer that question by saying, well, he created the world. He created me. He created me on purpose and he knows me. And for me, that was a huge turning point in my passion for ministry and my ability to like know that I'm worth something and that God has called me out to do something specific. So I would just say that like if you can appreciate you and all the giftings that God has given to you without becoming envious or jealous, you know, because he created me differently. We're different people. Well both, both beautiful. So it helps um, helps to keep focus. probably modesty, um, but you have to understand why you're dressing modestly. Um, you can't just do it because you're supposed to do it as a Christian. For me, I started to realize that I have a passion for that because I started to see if I dress in a, in a provocative way or a way that's sexually enticing for men, they're going to start looking at me in a, in a way that's degrading to me. It's going to help, help me out, and it's also disgusting to me to think about it. If you take a second to think about a guy thinking about you in a nasty way, mm -hmm. that's disgusting. Mm -hmm. Like, I do not want that. So it's, it's like, okay, what can I do to avoid that altogether? Mm -hmm. You know, and it's, you know, people will say, well, guys should be more self-controlled and stuff like that. But, like, it's, the reality is, is I love my brothers in Christ, and I love those guys who don't know Christ yet, but will someday. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to be the reason to, to cause that be delayed at all, you know, mm -hmm. right? And I think um, when you give somebody the chance to look at your face and see the light of Jesus that's in your eyes, because your eyes tell the story, mm -hmm. as opposed to looking at other places on you, then they're going to they're gonna see something different. I think that's what I believe. Mean. So, um, yeah, definitely modesty, but from the right perspective, not right, just because you're told to do it or whatever. Okay. And then I had one more question. So, how about friendships when it comes to Up As Far As Girls Go? Because a lot of the time there's a whole lot of drama, a sure. whole lot of trouble, any experiences that you had through your teenage years with that that you'd like to share or anything you learned? Yeah. Um, well, friendships change so much when you're that age. Like, I'm, I'm friends with only a couple of girls from that time of my life. And so I think it's just important to remember and know that your life is bigger than what it is right now. The things that God's put in your heart, like again, don't get distracted by what's going on around you. If you have a passion to help um, people who are in need, like special ed things, or if you have a passion for athletics, or if you have a passion for um, ministry at the church, or like what you're doing now, interviewing and stuff, like don't don't let anything keep you from that, and don't spend time on Facebook searching everybody else's profiles, and like those things are just negative, you know, if you're, if you're doing it for the wrong reasons, then it's not good and it's not helpful for you. So, um, I would just continue to say, know who you are in Christ, and don't, don't be distracted by what else is going on. It's, that's an easy answer, but it's a hard thing to do, but it's the same thing I tell myself today. 